Good Wednesday morning, friends, or afternoon, or evening, or whenever you may happen to join. For those that I may not know, I'm Reverend Jennifer Finley, our Momentum and Discipleship Pastor here at First United Methodist Church in Kirksville, and this is our midweek time to pause together, to take a deep breath, or if you're like me this morning, to take a deep inhale of your coffee, and to wonder together how and where God is meeting us. How is God active in our world? Where and how are we sensing God's presence in our lives, in our world? How are we sensing God's movement in the world? And uh, my own answer to that this week is, God met me and has met me in the power of music. And I thought I would share a bit about that this morning. Um, if you were worshiping with us on Sunday morning, you know that we had the privilege of having our Gospel Bluegrass Band lead worship. And our theme was around the power of music in our own individual lives and the power of music um, to change and transform us. And uh, last week I ran back across a song that has been familiar to me for a while but it's not one that's super well known. It's not one that we sing in worship very often. I'm not sure we actually ever have, um, although it is in a hymnal. It's in this green hymnal. This is not one that we have in our pews here at church. It's a supplement to the hymnal. But last week I ran back into a song called Draw the Circle Wide. And I thought I would share a bit about that with you. I looked up some information from the authors, but I wanted to hear these words first. Draw the circle wide, draw it wider still. No one stands alone, we'll stand side by side. Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. Draw the circle wide, draw it wider still. Let this be our song. No one stands alone, standing side by side. Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. It's one of those songs that keeps repeating and it builds upon itself. And I thought I would share a bit of information about this song and why it has touched my heart recently. Um, Gordon Light, who is the author of this song, wrote the original words and music in 1994 to draw the circle wide. He is one of the members of the Common Cup Ministry. It's a, a music group that has tended to do um, folk type music for worship. Um, and this, it goes on to describe that his original words um, were three stanzas. And it was also known when it was written as the title as God, the still point of the circle. And it, one person described this as the opening phrase comes from a meeting of the Episcopal Church's Executive Council, which the author attended in the mid 1990s as a representative of the Anglican Church of Canada. The then presiding Bishop Ed Browning gave a kind of state of the church address to the council in which he pressed us to be a more inclusive community. At least twice he used the phrase, we need to draw the circle wide. Light says, it certainly caught my attention and I wrote the words on the flight back to Toronto. The melody came naturally and when I was asked by the Common Praise Hymn Book Committee to name the tune, I called it Browning. Here's an interesting fact that I didn't know until I looked this up. The first stanza names God as the still point of the circle, around whom creation turns. Still point was a term by, used by William Gardner Sutherland, doctor of osteopathy and founder of cranial osteopathy, to describe the brief pauses and rhythm of the cerebral spinal fluid during osteopathic manipulation. Now, perhaps if I didn't live in Kirksville, that fact wouldn't have stood out to me. But it was interesting, right? connection to this song, to this hymn. Then the article goes on to describe um, that Mark Miller, who is a singer and a songwriter, prolific in some of United Methodist circles, um, used the refrain of this hymn and composed new music to it in 2011. And Miller believes that music can change the world and his dream is that the music he composes, performs, teaches, and leads will inspire and empower people to create the beloved community of God. And he writes, the words, the refrain, draw the circle wide, bring to mind that in a circle, all points are the same distance from the center. When in the circle, all are visible to one another. No one stands alone, will stand side by side. 
This song was on my mind this week and has been running through my mind this week because although I knew the song, um, I hadn't sung it for a while. And last week, as the United Methodist General Conference met in Charlotte, and as they lifted restrictions that have been in place for a long time on the full inclusion of LGBTQ folks in the life of the community of faith of United Methodist Churches, um, this song was sung as, as one of those first things was lifted, as it felt like, okay, we're coming to something new, to a fuller circle. Um, after um, the official vote on that, there was a break. And some folks I know were live streaming it, so I tuned in. And during that break, this just spontaneously, this song was being sung. Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. No one stands alone, we'll stand side by side. Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. And what you could see and hear in those voices was the power of music to express both a joy that there were new, some new opportunities for inclusion and grief and lament that it hasn't always been that way, that we sometimes aren't fully inclusive of whatever, that we don't always draw our circles wide, that we often draw boundaries amongst ourselves. And God met me being able to watch and listen to the song. God met me in those words. And I share that to say, if you are someone for whom this last week in the United Methodist land has had you wanting to sing that song and wanting to celebrate, no, you are not alone. And if you are also someone that this hits grief and lament because we haven't been there before, know that you're not alone. And if for you it's complicated for all kinds of reasons, also know that you're not alone and our music can carry that. For it is complicated. Last night, I had the privilege of hanging out with our Momentum Campus Ministry as we finished up the semester with our finals pancakes, where we serve pancakes to whoever wants to come in from 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock at night. Uh, if I look a little tired, that is why. And I love this. Every single year, I love this. And um, we had one student who came over from the fraternity next door. Uh, we have a group of wonderful college students who come every year. They join us before their evening festivities. They, they are wonderful and we love it. Um, and one of these students is not part of our campus ministry, but I've had conversations with him on campus probably about twice a year for the last several years. And every conversation we've had has revolved around in some way, shape or form, the ways in which she had been part of the United Methodist Church, but felt excluded. And, uh, and we've just had those conversations. And last night, um, I said, hey, have you, have you heard the news about, about the circle being drawn a little wider after General Conference? And we shared a holy moment. He had not heard that news yet. And he expressed that he was relieved to now be more fully included and also express that it's complicated for all kinds of reasons. And so friends, if it's complicated for all kinds of reasons, for whatever that is for you this week, know that God meets us in the power of song, in the power of imagery. Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. No one stands alone, we stand side by side, for we do, for we do. I, uh, I decided to film from here in this place. This is our gathering space, um, in part because this banner behind me that has been lovingly created by our uh, banner team is in the shape of a circle. And it's a circle that reminds us that God's love encircles us all. This is also the space where uh, I was just sitting here thinking, this is also the space that when we could not physically gather with each other during COVID, we worshiped from here. You often saw this banner behind me during those times of worship. And so friends, my hope, my prayer, my joy is that as God draws this circle, 
that is big and wide and larger than we could possibly imagine, that we know that we do not stand in that alone, that God is our center point, just like the center point there. That God is our center point and that we are all, all singing together. Go in peace, my friends.